Hi everyone, I'm Nadia and in today's video my mom is making a beautiful set of resin beach coasters. And I'm going to be showing you guys how she achieved lacing using low viscosity resin. After mixing her part A and part B resin, she separated it into smaller cups to add the pigments. First, she's going to be adding Dupont D's Ghost Pearls in the shade Heisenberg Blue. She adds a little bit onto a wooden stick and mixes it into her clear resin. Then she adds more clear resin and also adds clear resin into a separate smaller cup. She's going to be adding a few drops of Dupont alcohol ink in the shade Intense Teal. She stirs the two together and checks the opacity by tilting her cup. She decided to add one more drop and mixes that together well and sets it aside to use for later. For the sand part in the beach scene, she's going to be mixing this decor sand along with small pieces of glass. She's also going to be adding Deep on D's Ghost Pearls in the shade Gold Pearl to add a little bit of shimmer into the sand. She takes a little bit onto a small spoon and mixes that together with the sand. Then she carefully adds the sand mixed with resin onto her silicone molds by pouring directly from the cup and using her small spoon to adjust the placement of the sand. Once she's happy with the placement of the sand, she starts to carefully pour her blue pigmented resin onto the top of the molds. Then she takes the small cup filled with clear resin that she poured earlier and pours it directly above the sand and this is to prevent the blue pigmented resin from going over the sand. Now she's slightly darkening her blue pigmented resin by adding one more drop of the Intense Teal Alcohol Ink. She mixes that together and then pours again at the top of the molds. And she continues the process of darkening the blue by adding more alcohol ink and pouring that at the top of the molds. This is to create more depth in the beach scene and is also a good hack to work out of one cup and not have to mix three separate colors. She's cautious of not pouring too much so that the blue pigmented resin isn't pushed down past the sand. She uses a wooden stick to blend the colors together. And she's using a torch gun to pop any air bubbles. She moves the torch gun in a quick manner so that she doesn't burn her resin or her silicone mold. Now she's adding seashells that we picked from the beaches in Croatia and she uses a wooden stick to adjust their placement in the sand. She pops air bubbles one more time before leaving this layer for 24 hours to cure. A day has passed and the first layer has hardened so she added some latex onto the back edges of the coasters and propped them up onto cups to do the waves. She mixed her part A and part B resin and started applying it onto the coasters. She starts by pouring a line where she wants her wave to begin and fills the area above with resin. She only adds a little bit and uses a wooden stick to spread the resin to the edges and to the top of the coasters. By doing this, she's making sure that she has a very thin layer of resin onto her coasters. 
and this will help to achieve lacing because the more resin there is, the more movement there will be and you don't want there to be so much movement. She's not applying any of the clear resin onto the sand which will create a 3D wave effect. Now she's mixing her white pigmented resin to use for the waves and she's using just resin's pigment paste in the shade titanium white. Before adding the white pigmented resin onto the coasters, she waits about 30 minutes to allow the resin to thicken. If you don't have high viscosity resin, you can use low viscosity resin and wait between half an hour and an hour and it will start to become thick just like high viscosity resin. After some time has passed, she starts to apply the white pigmented resin onto the shoreline with a wooden stick. Now she's using a heat gun to blow out the waves. When she's done with the heat gun, she goes over the coasters with a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and this also helps to open up any lacing. She allows 24 hours to pass so that the second layer has hardened and now she's going to be adding a heat resistant top coat. She pours her heat resistant resin onto the coasters and uses this makeup brush to spread the resin to the edges. The torch gun is used again to pop any air bubbles and here's a small clip of my mom adding a gold trim onto the coasters. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.